Hi, I'm Phil Taggart and at the moment we are in East London. We're going to follow Max Jury around a couple of different record stores. We're going to pick out some of his musical fantasies and we have given him £50 to pick as much good music as he can. If you don't know him by now, then you will by the end of this. I'm living in the modern world Jumping over my head Drinking every night away Till we start again the next day Talking about the records in your own collection, yeah. What what would your like top three be in there at the minute? And I know like when you have a record collection, it's quite sure. fluid and it yeah. ch changes from day to day, yeah. hour to hour. Yeah. But if you if I was at your house now and I was like, tell me the three best records you got in there, what would they be? Sure. Three. Hmm. I have. There's this record by this jazz artist named Duke Pearson. He has this album called Wahoo. That's like really kind of like spiritual, almost gospel-y tinged jazz uh, that a friend of mine turned me on to. So I really love that record. I have a record by Jackson Brown, his first record oh, wow, yeah. called Saturate Before Using, um, which has some killer songs on it. It's a little bit before like he kind of came into his own production wise, but like the songs are amazing and it's just a really great record. Living in the modern world. Give me something updated. Give me something like off the last like five years. Yeah, totally. Actually, no, I do have something. There's this band called The Shivers that I've been like. I've never heard of them. I've been obsessed with them since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. They're actually playing London tonight, Small World. Um, but um, I bought their record. Like he has this record called Charades that's, I don't know, came out maybe in 2004. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really cool, like lo fi, sort of like very New York City folky rock like in the vein of Blue Reed kind of but yeah um, right let's let's get away from Phil Collins he's creeping right, me out cool. I'm gonna steal this guy because it's four pounds not steal but yeah well we do have we do have 50 pounds so you could buy 10 if we could get 10 Robert Palmer albums yeah, then we could buy we could buy that right do you have back stock of these I'd like multiple actually we could get more it's three three ninety nine because so, like out of, out of our budget if you buy that We've got 46 pounds and 1p left. I'm trying to actually dice all of the money. I do, there you go. Oh, thanks, Phil. <laughs> I could have made my way off of that. <laughs> so, right, we've got one in Robert Palmer. Yeah. It's a very, very 70s looking cover. Look isn't at it? those cowboy boots. <laughs> it's like yee haw, it's like Old Town Road. And jumpsuits. Amazing. I feel like the sort of um, vibe of like blue and green jumpsuits and cowboy boots needs to come back. Dude, it's like we're space in cowboys. We're in East London. Surely we'll walk past somebody. They'll be wearing that right now. This is amazing. This is the best album. Wow. How much is it? Seventeen ninety. Although, are you going to buy it on the album cover alone? I love how in parentheses here it just says strong, <laughs> strong, <laughs> strong record. <laughs> Maybe somebody bought it. Could it be possible that somebody came in here and bought it? See, if you want to be super cheap asses, yeah. we can just go into the seven inch section. <laughs> we could do that, couldn't we? We could go into the, uh, the I mean, nobody knows how long you're going to be in London for. You, you move about, like it's collecting records, seven inches is uh, surely a lot more uh, tra we do it? travel friendly. If um, if we could like take the sort of old school strategic yeah. alphabetization of records out, and you could sit between two records, your new album, either side, which which would you like? If I put records on either side, yeah. If I if I was digging through here, yeah. and there was one there, yours was in the middle, and then okay. another one. Like what, what? What would I like to be sandwiched between? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, I mean, there's a lot of options. I mean, I feel like Bruce is a bad company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you could you could you could mess with Bruce. Look at that! Look at that guy. I mean, rugged, tender, sensual, but in a blue collar way. <laughs> um, I'd be between Bruce and then, you know, my favorite artist of all time is Joni Mitchell. So I'd be between Bruce and Joni. I Two mean, real ones. That's that's a pretty. That's so it'd be like great record. Uh, average record, great record. <laughs> I think that sounds like a pretty good dinner party to me. Oh, interesting. Oh, bad, um, bad, not good. Yeah. I love them. Snoop Dogg. 
and Kate Trinata on it as oh, well. Sick. Kate Trinata, Snoop Dogg, Bad Bad Not Good. How can you say no? I might get it. What are you saying? I'm gonna get it just because it sounds very interesting. And it's also got like three of the best contemporary artists. Well, Snoop Dogg kind of like, kind of on the classic legend. Yeah, yeah, Sort yeah. of contemporary. Totally, totally. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. The cheapest record in the history. In the history of records. 10p. Um, Robert Palmer, how much is that one? Four. Four pounds? Yeah, and a little pricey, but I got the money to spend. 16. And I haven't heard it. 16 pounds in AP, will we go pay for it? Let's do it. 16 out of 5.